The Gilbreas Centre for Studies in Aging at McMaster University seeks to improve the lives of older adults in the community and in long-term care by linking research, education and practice. An important focus for us is knowledge dissemination and we offer various workshops such as the Summer Institute, the Fall Symposium and our Montessori Methods for Dementia workshop. Montessori Methods for Dementia are based on the original work of Dr. Maria Montessori. Over 30 years later, Dr. Cameron Camp noticed interesting and important connections between Dr. Montessori's vision and principles and dementia care. Montessori Methods for Dementia focus on supporting both the person and the prepared environment, thus encouraging independence and purposeful and meaningful engagement in life. But the focus is on doing within the context of doing things differently based on an individual's unique level of ability, their interests, and also their individual needs. When programming is aimed at the individual's level of ability, function is not only maintained, it can also be restored and even enhanced. In dementia care, we have to focus on supporting the total environment, and that can include anything from a personal memory cueing activity, such as providing a template, you use the picture of the puzzle as a template so that when the person is doing the puzzle, they know exactly where each piece goes on that puzzle. So it's built up for success. In this exercise, we're having the person sort their pills by day. At the bottom of each of these holes is one example of what needs to be in each compartment. Here we have six colors seated on a tablecloth and the tablecloth is full of pattern. Very difficult to distinguish the cards with the different colors from the tablecloth. Remove the tablecloth and now you see them here on a table without the tablecloth. Much easier for the person to see. Plus we can add design modifications such as wayfinders on walls, uh, doors that are designed to look like bookshelves, each of these things are used to support the memory loss that is associated with dementia. You build a gingerbread. When staff seem to be interested oh, in doing something different on a dementia unit, I recommend them taking the Montessori activities course through McMaster. When they have several people trained, then we start looking at how the activities are being implemented and we really work as a team. So it's multidisciplinary. Everyone gets in on the act. They love to look at ways they can make their residents more successful and happier. I find that it makes your job a lot easier by concentrating on the principles of Montessori um, and providing activities that maintain life skills such as a scooping activity. Um, you're, you're maintaining abilities that they would use in activities of daily living such as picking up a ball with a scoop and then placing it into a corresponding colored cup. This maintains their ability for feeding themselves. You're using the same movements that are ingrained in their level of ability. You ready breakfast? Check it out. We always want to focus on task breakdown, so we want to aim to develop activities at the person's own level of ability. And we do this by focusing on their own abilities, strengths, needs, and interests. Wear warm clothes. The memory book is a tool that we use in the day program for a client with dementia and it allows the client to go to find answers that she's searching for throughout the day to again reduce anxiety and allows her to have success in finding the answer she's looking for. Um, it's also a tool that staff can use to redirect someone when they are searching for an answer and asking constant questions throughout the day. The memory book allows them to have a resource to use to find what the answer is and to settle the anxiety. This meant that at 10 years of age... I think the quality of life of the person with dementia has really increased in using Montessori activities. People with dementia are people that have been very active all their life, have participated in community activities, have participated in being part of a, a larger group and working really hard. And to sit in a long-term care home for 12 hours and just been being asked to sit there and do nothing really makes them feel unsuccessful in their life. Montessori activities engages them in something that's meaningful and something that they feel successful in. The social change in dementia care of this type will be made possible not only by the energies of individual reformers, but, to use a quote from Dr. Montessori, 
the change will occur with a slow and steady emergence of a new world in the midst of the old.